Welcome everyone to Words and Art here at the CAM. I am Mary Wemple, the creator and coordinator of the series. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for everyone here at the CAM, especially Felice Cleveland, Michael Simmons, who you just heard from, and our guest judge, Elizabeth Commande Swim. Thank you, Elizabeth. All the works you're gonna hear tonight have been inspired by Stephen Evans' If I Can't Dance, It's Not My Revolution. So, are you ready to get started? Yes. 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 Are your cell phones turned off and stowed away? Please, thank you. Please welcome our first reader, Patty Nowenson. What's going on? The titles of songs stagger across a pink flesh of wall like band-aids healing the wounds of a lifetime. Clues, commands, adjectives, questions, laments, and claims. As easily as I comply with the doctor's request to take a breath as he connects his ears with my heart, I breathe. And so the titles with equal ease release the present and my past in ecstatic beats. A signature riff rises, unleashing the muscle memory of my arms, my hips swaying with elastic abandon to another time, to a song, every song, an anthem. It's not just the music syncopation that starts a revolution as the vinyl puts me in such an awful spin, do it to me again and again. Keystrokes to move to, percussion to groove to, rhythms to follow, and strings to lean into. It is the tireless refrain, the lyrics that have the power to pick at the scabs of loss, wallow in love, invite, demand, insist that we bloom, stand, try, follow, and do it. The words of the songs ask, why don't you love me? Don't understand me. Are you satisfied? They beg you to show me, please don't ever leave me. Tell me what is toxic, wrong, missing. Explain to me the rules and regulations. Whisper what you're gonna do now that I'm beautiful and bulletproof and free. The melody may be catching, the beat hypnotic, but words will introduce you to people like us. We were born this way. Don't make me over, sorry, not sorry. The familiar moogie opening notes call the crowd to their feet. He reaches out to slowly peel me like a band-aid from my chair. I feel love at 128 beats per minute. Breathe. This is something I can dance to. Love to love you, baby. Thank you, Patty. Next up is Daniel Husband. All right, this is People Like Us. People like us are born with a light, so bright we hide behind a mask. People like us get brighter in darkness, are closer to truth behind closed doors, under neon lights, in stolen glances. People like us can be anyone in the dark, so we become ourselves. When we're dancing, life belongs to us, unburdened by expectations, side glances, and warnings. People like us drown out our thoughts with spinning records. We dance so the light stays. Thank you, Daniel. Our next reader couldn't be here this evening, so instead, Dom Zuccone is going to read her poem for her, for Vanessa Zimmer Powell. Dom? I apologize for those who were uh, expecting Vanessa. Just say it. If I can't dance, it's not my revolution. No power without groove electricity that pull from base to body, action and connection. I am not alone. Even if I sweat 
pink, even if my sounds are a nervous song in the grocery store where mama is buying bread for them and I am other with my fairy tale and dance shoes. I light up a room. Those who need to see, see me. Bring it, Diane. I'm coming out. <laughs>
I don't know how many of you were interested or thought of looking up the origin of this phrase, if I can't dance, it's not my revolution. I didn't. However, a friend of mine has a daughter who lives in Berlin, and she sent a link to this exhibition to her, and the daughter wrote back and said, that is a quote by a Russian anarchist feminist, Emma Goldsmith, uh, who then came to the United States. And I looked it up. She didn't actually say it, but she was in New York, and she was uh, you know, pro-communist and all. And she was dancing, and one of her fellow activists said to her, anarchists don't dance. And she said, it, anarchy is such a beautiful idea. If you can't dance to it, I don't want to be part of it. So I thought that was real interesting. It has nothing to do with my poem. So. <laughs> <clears throat> but I always like those tidbits. Yeah. Situation. They met on the college dance floor week after week. She paid her dollar, he paid his. Music, their mating call. Doing the pony, the monkey, the mashed potato, their non-committal courtship. It was never theirs, the war, the drugs, the revolution, though it was the 60s. He held her close, crooning Venus and Cherish, songs as sacred to him as hymns. And though she couldn't walk on the wild side, he pressed, love to love you, baby. When classmates protested Dow Chemical, Napalm, Vietnam, they sidled past, embarrassed by their lack of strong beliefs. They danced through two decades, five countries, two kids, six states, and every move worked. They found the right beat until their marriage tumbled into a song for the lonely. His anthem, You Can Call Me Al. In the shower, he sang along, Why am I soft in the middle? The rest of my life is so hard. She froze, too afraid to ask, don't you want me? And then, their own revolution, a new situation. He took his heart east, hers stayed deep in the south. New partners, new songs, an invigorating change of beat. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Our next reader is Winston Durden. Let me get a little height here. Okay. This is called uh, Course Lines, Battle Lines. It's a uh, mimesis with the uh, from, it's uh, my Mises from uh, Eras with Better Music. It's, uh, it's, uh, Everywhere I hear the sound of marching, charging feet, boys. Hey, I'm dancing down the street. Got a revolution, got to revolution. I'm dancing barefoot, spinning in midair. The revolution's here, and you know it's right. Begin the begin. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. It's just the same old song and dance. But when you dance, I can really love. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. All you need is love, dancing in the dark. Love is all you need. Dance away the heartache, dance away the tears, and dance me to the end of love. Thanks, Winston. Our next reader is across the country, and we need just a couple seconds to set her up. So be just one moment. Can you hear us, Jacoby? 
Yes, I can. Yay, take it away. Okay. Thanks to everybody who makes this event possible, including Mary, of course, uh, Michael, Cam, and all of you, all of us. This is uh, a musical reference poem that's pretty self-explanatory. It makes reference to David Bowie and uh, Prince. So if any of you aren't familiar with their work, I recommend looking up their music and their films. And it make ref makes reference to The weekend as well. So for those on the other side who might know David Bowie and Prince, check out The weekend. David, where you are. I saw Starboy and I thought it was you. But no, you were Starman and it wasn't what I thought. A bright boy tries to fill the gap you left in the world and line it with purple feathers left when the violet crowned wood nymph flew the nest. David, where you are, are you still a one being revolution, genteely shaking up the stars on the axis of your impeccable garb and form, while the earth boy whimpers in the dark night of this world's soul, spinning poetry that hurts in its ugliness and pain, as millions probably sing along, thinking it's literal, oblivious parrots, of scathing observation and stealthy satirification hidden in the code of plain sight. David, where you are, are you a peacock among blackbirds? Or are you a blackbird among greater peacocks? Or have you finally found your flock, realizing that your androgyny is simply the nature and being of the spirit and that what others yearn for you knew at the core of your being. We're in an ugly moment down here, and we need the souls who fell to earth to wake up to their rain of glitter and white feathers within, and for every major Tom to realize they are not adrift alone in space. David, where you are, please smile on every being each and all a Ziggy in blackbird drag, just bursting to blaze forth in the glitter and white feathers of our peacock selves. Thank you. Please welcome our new next reader, Yolanda Movesessian. This was a really fun project, so thank you so much for the opportunity for this project. Um, when I went through the exhibit, so many songs that just jumped out at me and brought back memories of different faces, different countries I've lived in, different cities. So I decided to stitch them along with some of the other uh, songs that were meaningful to me in my life into a poem. So here we have hopeless situation. Don't leave me this way in constant craving of your tainted love. Small town boy, what's going on? You always walk on the wild side. Now, under pressure, you're running up that hill, afraid you're not bulletproof. More than rain, I love to love you, baby, toxic yet beautiful. Been looking for answers all around the world. Don't you want me anymore? Promised I will wait for you. Promised I'll take care of you. Never can I say goodbye. All I want is more, more, more. But tell it to my heart. Why do you want to hurt me? Don't you see? If not for you, I'd be blinded to the ray of light. Please, don't make me over. I'm missing you. But relax, star boy. This is our last dance. We are no longer family. Seasons change. It's Blue Monday, and here comes the rain again. Thanks, Yolanda. 
Our next reader is Varsha Saraya Shah. Good evening. It's good to be here again, Mary. Thank you. So this poem is titled, Aphorism. It's raining cats and dogs, I heard in eighth grade, first time in English, my foreign language period. Our chain of giggles swept through the classroom until teacher yelled, girls, quiet. A pin dropped silence. Suddenly, my bestie started hiccuping loud, like barking. I passed her a hanky from my bag to muffle it. Hanky for handkerchief. Literally, there were no cats, no dogs, just puddles, water skipping range ropes in courtyard. There was no play recess that day. The teacher felt sorry and taught us a new song instead of grammar. It filled our recess void. And next day, again in the playground, we sang, clapping and chasing each other loud and free. Work while you work, play while you play. This is the way to be happy and gay. Years hence, the word gay got laced with shame. My song of innocence lost to a label. When Sister Sled brought out theirs, the aphorism, we are family. I got all my sisters with me. My spirit soared again like that rain. Dancing on the kitchen floor Saturday nights with abandon, I felt the disco restored a part of me. What I thought had died. Thank you. Thank you, Varsha. Our next two readers couldn't make it. Chuck and is out of town, and Gerald Cedillo uh, couldn't make it. So Elizabeth Commande Swim will be reading for them in their place. Skip a beat. Pink Walls Dark Closet Remix by Chuck Wimple. In no mountain men family stand on why stand on love. Small town Ray, you're my best friend. This last coming out before the nursing home, it's raining light. Don't constant, don't craving, missing free Ray, small town Ray, who's craving who? Sorry, my sister, sorry again, bulletproof queen, born like us, sorry, can't bloom like us, sorry, beautiful, toxic sister, no dancing, don't make me, taint me, beautiful arrow, free of light, it's okay, wrong, it's okay, wrong. Show me small town Ray, we are hurt family. Wild baby, toxic boy, it's raining tainted men again. Free light, queen enough for people like us. Feel my arrow, can't bloom, try again. Can't feel, try again. Born, my face, spark the neon gas, star boy. Blue raining, you in the dim heat. One hit wonders lost to plump addictions. Dark connections between buzzing light has-beens. Our bright lines flare the lens. Warm walls smudged with a dissolution of melancholy. <laughs> At last you are tired of All These Solemnities by Gerald Cedillo. Every morning you open your phone 
You read the casualty list, confess your sins, and hope the bosses grant an early release off Monday's desk, enough to apply for the protest. It needs the front lines manned against your counterpart, who mans front lines against the opposition, his neighbor, co-worker, beautiful, solemn you. And at six o'clock, bars keep their happy hour, and East Coast trains slide into their stations, and on the island, tourists finally come ashore, and you can see the roads of southern towns become thin, clean filaments of the sun again. Crowds throw chants at tonight's building shame, giants. Crowds throw chants at tonight's building shame, giants living in faraway hills, a worthy cause. Everyone says this is part religion a time of great unrest, great inspiration. Tell yourself, you tell yourself, ashamed to go on living happily during the war. Let's see a film after the riots, you ask. Will there be coffee houses, flower pots, when the revolution burns factories down, mountain peaks entrusted with a day's worth of saintly snow? Or are we forever hiding grenades in the basement, threading a needle for flags we may never fly, constant vigil the way things are, wear a veil, widow, remarried to the cause? The ocean splashes white foam into blue atmosphere, both are dying, or a girl smiles, teases her dress, reading a book alone. She may be a fascist. Everything aches. Do not write poetry of praise or songs. Do not laugh too loud. Work under these funereal conditions, ready if Our Lady of Unconquerable Sorrow needs pallbearers, because they could always use another pallbearer. Thanks, Elizabeth. Our next reader is Alexander Garza. Did he make it? Yeah. You're right here. OK, thank you. Go right ahead. Good evening. Uh, thank you, um, Ms. Wemple and uh, Contemporary Arts Museum of Houston. Uh, the poem that I wrote, it was inspired by the exhibit um, by Stephen Evans. Uh, it's called Starboy. Hands exchange long neon mixtapes. The notes bounce car door speakers, driving west on Starboy constellations to where no one really notices injustice. Bloom blue neutral to fit the situation, born in the middle of a downtown war. Security escorts at the checkout counter join us on the dance floor. Lightning through bodies, tremble, dance. Fire red, orange hair, let it be, just let it be there. Cross body leg tattoo, stranger skin without a name says, don't go. No, it says, please don't go. Thank you. Thanks, Alexander. Our next reader is Janae Ariel. My name is Janae Ariel, and I'm very happy to hold space with you all tonight in this beautiful space. I hope that you can take one of the words either off the wall or something that was said and let it resonate with you when you leave from here. A reimagining of pink. Three black boys follow each other around the museum, one with big hair, one with a camera, and the other looking dapper. He changed out of a university sweatshirt when he arrived. I wonder how sneaky folks used to have to be like ducking out, closets becoming safe havens, secret doors, hidden rooms, password protected, everything underground. 
I grew up with pink walls and pink everything. The walls are dark, sad, lackluster pink. Odd these are called lavender, one of the sweetest smelling flowers. The right to exist. Teenage dream is like wind blasting. I was always partially hyper-conscious about listening to white music, not for what other folks thought, more so how these singers didn't look at me. It was clear our experiences weren't the same. I was not white or blonde. At the time, I didn't know many black girls screaming or rocking out except like Fifi Dobson. Love the melodies and Avril Lavigne will always be my favorite black eyeliner wearing angry shorty. Is she dead, by the way? I don't know. My ex had theories. She found them online. I never relate to love songs like people get all mushy and wide-eyed. Don't ask anyone to dance and usually good pop, lock, and drop it on my own. I climbed really high mountains and realized, reached a person and realized they ran that far away for a reason. I'm magical, but not trying to heal demons. They dance in dark ballrooms, well-lit courtrooms, empty apartments, crowded skylines. My favorite pink, lavender, orange blend is only found in nature with the setting sun. I blush at the thought of the sight of her finally telling the truth. Some of us were birthed from illusion, even in a neon light, our shadows denser than rain clouds. Thank you. Thanks, Jenny. And please welcome our final reader, Neil Ellis Orts. Good evening. Uh, first, a couple of plugs. <laughs> uh, first weekend of October, there's a Frame Dance Film Festival, and there's a eight-minute film in there that my friend Misha made of me flailing about. Uh, we had a play date, and she videotaped, and now it's a dance film, I don't know. Uh, and then at the end of the month, uh, Houston Fringe Festival, three weeks of independent artists showing work. I'll be showing a uh, one-man show called The Merry Mortality Mystery Show. So you want to come see that. Okay, um, Beats. Giddings High School, class of 1982, naive, oblivious, deeply closeted even to myself. College was my golden age of music. You have kind of gay taste in music. Well, what could that mean? How is music gay? What makes Barbara Streisand, Donna Summer, Culture Club gay? Boy, George is just being flamboyant. Anyway, they're marketing makeup for men now. No, I'm not going to wear it, but you know it's cool if guys want to. Some late night talk show comic. Do I really want to hurt you? Yes, yes I do. I knew, it was a vi I knew this was violent humor. Without yet naming myself, I knew that was a dangerous joke. The audience laughed, and I knew that made it scarier. Frankie, say, relax. You know that song's about masturbation, right? No way, it's, a, it's just a song. It, it has a beat, and you can dance to it. Or maybe the other way around? Don't make it dirty. Relax, don't do it when you want to come. It doesn't, it's just a song, it doesn't mean anything. Flash dance, what a feeling. Everybody cut foot loose. Angles on Guadalupe and Austin, that was our club of choice. Me, Dean, Gwenda, and whoever was Gwenda's roommate at the time. Four of us, none of us dating, all of us wanted, all we wanted was to dance. Eurythmics, Human League, Denise Williams hearing it for the boy. 
bouncing, flailing, sweating. Madonna, Duran Duran, Michael Jackson beating it. No meaning, just bodies in motion, dancing like it mattered, dancing like it was the matter, dancing was all that mattered. Thanks to all our featured readers, and now for a few words from our guest judge. How's everybody doing? I'm sorry, what? How's everybody doing? All right. Thank you so much, um, creator and coordinator of Words and Art, Mary Wemple. I am privileged to be here, and I want to thank each and every poet who participated, who submitted um, to this program. I am a musician before any other art form, um, so when I see these songs, I see these things that exist, like wheels turning. And if I want to write a poem, I have to somehow make my way between all those gears. And it might not be a very pleasant experience. So I got to participate in this program by becoming intimately involved with everyone else's poem. And so I'm really grateful for that. And I learned a lot from every single artist who submitted. Um, the songs did bring me back in time to when I was a kid making up songs in the bathtub and it made me think about how oblivious I was to all the other movements that were going on in the world other than me growing up, right? Including the civil rights movement for LGBTQ people. Um, and there was one thing that kept speaking to me from the songs. It was from The Light That Never Goes Out, which I used to love that song as a teenager. But I was moved to contemplate that song and our notions of, of color and our notions of light and darkness, which is something I've been contemplating a lot. And Martin Luther King has a great speech that details all the definitions in our culture of light and darkness. And the one thing the song said to me after a while was, there's a light that never goes out, and it's really the dark. Thank you.